Hello everyone, it's Supermassive Speaker here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, we're going to continue on with what would have been part of the first episode, but the video, as I mentioned in the last video, it got corrupted. So, yeah, um, not gonna, I mean, there's some changes here, but, I mean, yeah. Um, Ovalia, we'll learn more about her, Agrius, We'll learn more about her in a little bit, but this is kind of this part of the game here, and we meet some swordsmen, or there's some swordsmen. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail, but I'm just gonna let you know read at your own pace. But yeah, this is kind of how the game starts out. I mean, we'll learn more in a little bit here soon, so. But basically, Lady Olivia has paid some hired cell swords to help, I believe, help her to get to the, her destination, wherever it may be from this church. But it doesn't seem like it's going to be that simple. Duke Altana, we'll learn more about him too. And this is kind of where we get to... There's not much storyline right here right now, but... Like with any JRPG, strategy battle, strategy game, strategy RPG, we get our tutorial, we get our tutorial battle. So the Crest of the Black Lion, do they want Wench? I don't remember if that was in the PlayStation version. In this version, though, I did notice that they really don't mention anything about God. <laughs> It's O Lord or Father. But yeah, I can see how they kind of changed that. But anyways, like I said, this is our obligatory tutorial battle. Um, I don't think there's any way you can really lose this fight. Um, Gafgarian is gonna always go first in battle no matter what. Um, I don't think there's any change in outcome if they fall in battle because mm, you'll see here in a little bit I mean I'll explain some things but nobody really in your party will permadeath this fight but I'll get more into that when we get into the storyline but anyways first thing I'm gonna do is go to my options here and <clears throat> in this version um, under the battle ma for the options you if you don't do this, where I'm, so I'm going to go to battle prompts. Every time you pick to move, use a command, use an action, it tells you like well, this is how you do it. And it's like I, I know how to play the game. I don't need to do that. Anyways, um, Ramza starts at level nine, almost level ten. Uh, focus, rush, and chant. Uh, focus will increase your attack by one. Uh, rush is kind of like a shoulder attack, does some damage, and chant is that you use some of your own HP to heal a party member. And I think you heal them for twice the amount you use. And of course, rend armor, there goes golden armor, I, hopefully that doesn't affect anything, it shouldn't. But yeah, I think Agrius casted a spell on that archer, and I think we're about to get severely, as some people would put it, boned. Uh, she has no armor, so her she's going to take hits really easy. Like, she's already down past half her health. Never had that happen. And usually they don't bunch up like this, and usually she doesn't use a spell. She has sword abilities with her sword, kind of like you saw with Gafgarian, and once again, I'm gonna and I'm gonna apologize for if I butcher names. But yeah, she just casted fire on all of us instead of the panel. I'll get more into that when I get to using magic. Uh, she has a judgment blade or something that can work, but she didn't do that. Anyways, this battle, um, Ramza is a squire. 
Uh, Agrius is a Holy Knight, I believe. I think Gafgarian is either a Fall Knight or a Dark Knight. I think he's a Fall Knight. But anyways, I'm gonna go... I think I want to take care of this chemist before he starts healing people. I don't know if the chemist has any way of reviving his parties, but if you notice, they're stars. Um, that means they're not dead. They're more of, like, unconscious. I will explain more when we get into the... Yeah, she has a judgment blade. Why didn't she do that earlier? I don't know. The AI is kind of... I think she's dead here. Yeah. Rend armor. Dead. Can't revive. See, she's not dead. She's just unconscious. So... I'm not worried about her. We're, we, it's not like Fire Emblem with permadeath. But yeah, I, that's the thing I don't like about this. I can't control that because with the AI, with guests, <laughs> it runs so fast you can barely read anything. They don't think. Lad is a squire. I think in the PlayStation version his name was Rad. I don't know. But yeah, they're going after the archers instead of the knight. That would be a better idea. Ooh, ugh. The AI is not the best. I feel at times. And yeah, I should be able to take this archer down with no problem. Uh, is this knight gonna bite the dust? I nope, not yet, but close. Um, but yeah, with the experience system, oh, there she goes. Uh, with the experience system, it's not like RPGs where you rack up tens of thousands of millions of experience points. It's kind of like with the coins in Super Mario or something. You hit a hundred, you roll over, you level up. Um, job points. I will go over that in the next episode or towards the end of the next episode. It really doesn't matter here because... Yeah, it's not explained until... Well, I'll explain, like I said, in the next episode. Um, yeah, I know I don't sound very energetic. <sighs> it's been warm lately. <laughs> Anyways, um, I can't reach, I can't heal, so I'm just going to cast... Fo I'm just going to use focus again. I don't think it stacks. I'm not sure. I'd have to check status. But I'll do that another time. Oh, he's actually got a monk move. Huh, Cyclone, okay. But we should be coming to the end of this battle soon. Oh, he's still got some HP. But uh, she should be able to take him down. Alright, well, we defeated... Some of the black lions. And see, yeah, our characters don't disappear. That they're just knocked out. And before we end this episode, we'll get a little cutscene here. And like I mentioned in the first episode, I really like the how they did this with this the style. I mean, it's weird the characters don't have noses, but. Some of this was better than... Forgive me. Tis your birth and faith that wrong you, not I. I'm trying not to talk when they're talking, but... <laughs> it was better than when they were using the in-game sprites or polygoned... ...cutscenes. But yeah. So this mysterious man who we... Ramza seems to have an interest for... ...apparently may know him. And he's literally just walking off with Lady Olivia. I cannot be. Apparently, the Ramza knows who this person is. And yeah, why is he under the banner of Duke? Under the Duke. Well, anyways, we will find out the history between Ramza and Delita in the next episode. This has been Silver Mustache Pika. Have a nice day.